As great as black metal is, it will probably always be defined by the church burnings and the murder and the brain stew of its viciously satanic second wave in Norway. But don't worry, there is Christian black metal. Black Metal takes its name from the Venom album, Black Metal. And along with other early bands like Bathory and Celtic Frost, this very extreme subgenre was thrashy and dark and kind of satanic, but not entirely serious. It was about as playful as songs like Necromantical Screams could be. The Norwegians really cranked that shit up with the second wave of Black Metal. And they stopped kidding, ever about anything. What is the, 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 the primary ideology or primary ideas that fuel Gorgoroth's music? Satan. Basically, a bunch of dudes lived in the woods and then set fire to over 50 churches. And this guy named Dead shot himself in the face, and then a guy named Euronymous found his body and used his brain to make a stew and bits of his skull to make lovely necklaces. And then a guy named Varg Vickerness from a band called Burzum killed Euronymous to prove that he, Varg, was the most evil. Varg Vikernes, født 11.2.70. Somewhere in there, they made some records, starker and more extreme than any metal that had come before it. They were not fucking around, and some of them were actually pretty good. You can see how Christians would just be itching to get a piece, right? The same year that Varg Vikernes went to jail for murder, the first unblack metal album was released. Hordes Helig Asvart. It led to death threats and cries of a boycott from satanic true believers, but it was just the beginning. Ancestors The Return of the Black Death was a landmark Christian black metal album. It came out on the same label as less holy bands like Demu Borgir and Cradle of Filth Cacophonous Records. Now they claim that the label censored references to Jesus and the Lord throughout the album. And in addition to that, Euronymous, the skull necklace brain stew guy, plotted to kill them and said so in multiple interviews. <laughs> Undaunted, Bible musicians have continued to try to reconcile their love for the Lord with this very unlordy genre of music. Today, bands like Crimson Moonlight and Frost Harder carry the simultaneous torches for both Jesus and Burza. Christian black metal musicians are mocked by the actual metal community and misunderstood by their own Christian community, and yet they soldier on. There's something weirdly Christian about it, but not metal. There's nothing metal about any of these bands at all. Christians should be able to enjoy all of the same activities that us non-believers do. Things like voting, movies, ska music. But their insistence on inserting themselves into an overly satanic, murderous, extreme metal subgenre? Leave us something. Jesus. We've got links to music videos and a few informative documentaries in the description. What do you think? Can Christians play black metal? Is black metal even still a thing in 2013? Let us know in the comments. Hail Satan.